Salam Aleichem. How are you doing? Well, it's night. And I'm uh, kind of happy. Kind of uh, feel complete with myself about many things in my life. And I wanted to to share a little bit. It's uh, really to serve Hashem really to connect yourself to the Creator and like that I said it many many times for me really to connect myself to the to all of this concept of faith in Hashem, the Creator, God, the Torah, Bible, whatever it's, uh, it is a result of my inner search of finding my soul because I came from a very secular background, so nothing at all was familiar for me from the religious side of of life. So everything that uh, took place after was a result of my inner awakeness. So actually, you see how kind Hashem is, look. I'm in the middle of the darkness. It's all dark. But Hashem just wanted to put the lights on me. So that's what He's doing. Hashem is the boss. So, all of this process is a process of an inner awakeness of a person. And it's very important, very great to think about it, how, how powerful it is that the truth reveals itself the truth is revealing itself just wakes you up and and calling you from inside it's something so deep I called one of my classes a few days ago my device works because it works and 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 that's the truth it works when you call Hashem so you find Hashem when you search for the truth, when you search for spirituality, when when you search for for the soul, for the essence of who that you are, you find it. Even if you want to ask the hardest questions of them all, even if you don't know where are you heading and what are you doing, and you choose to call Hashem, so it's crazy. Why? Because it, it works. Suddenly things happen in life, that you see miracles of Hashem, you see the individual supervision, you see that the Creator is just revealing, uncovering this kind of hastara, is removing that sheet, that blanket, that curtain above His face, and He lets you see the light. And we're not talking about an spiritual illumination or spiritual excitement, uplifting events we're talking about simple simple feeling and understanding that the Creator is with you that you can really really sense the godliness the Lokut the light of the Creator He is inside of us He lives inside the creation and the creation speaks with His voice move with His power now, my process is, thank God, very long and started long time ago. And the last year, the last few years are very different than, than the rest of, of my journey. In the beginning, like I said, I was looking for myself. Really, I wanted to know the truth. I felt very far. And a point of truth woke me up to, to decide to go for it all the way and, and to look for the truth and to be a man and to be strong and, and to try to work on my attributes, on my midot and to stop lying to myself and never to lie to others. And, and it was a complex, long process. But after three, four years, I was already in a different place. And then I thought that religion 
is the answer. I saw that I need to work on my Judaism. And I worked on it for years. For years I was waking up so early and going to sleep so late and I wouldn't miss any prayer and I wouldn't stop from learning hundreds of books I finished. I was not going to sleep on a bed. I was sleeping on the dining table, on the on the chair. For years, I never missed a mikveh in 16 years. Never, even once, bli neder. Even once, in 16 years, even after days of fast like Yom Kippur and Tisha B'Av, at night I would go and I would look for a mikveh and I would go in deep. And I made thousands of hours of Idbodiduyot and prayers and Shuvot and I literally sacrificed so much and we lived in such a a ghetto area in Beit Israel in Jerusalem the frumest area of them all and we bought a house over there and the kids were learning in Talmud Torah in Cheder and everything was so strict and so powerful and so strong and after a while, Hashem Yitbarach woke me up from that daydream. The first dream was a night dream. It was a night dream. I was in darkness and I was dreaming. But then I fell to another dream. And that was the daydream. I thought that to be religious it will be the answer for my problem, but by doing that I lost something that was the inner connection of the early days of the beginning. Like we're asking, Chadesh Yamenu Kikedem, we want you today to renew our life like in the earliest days, like in the beginning. And in the beginning I was searching for the truth, and after a while I found myself searching for religion searching for fulfilling my obligations and many many of the bad attributes like fear and anger start hitting me again start attacking me again and terrorized my life and brought me to so many hours of stress and fear and frustration and and feelings of 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 being so useless and so weak and so not powerful and so so lost and so empty and then I decided to to start looking for Hashem again and to drop the lies and to drop the the excuses and all the fake religion and I'm not talking about religion I'm not talking about Judaism that is fake Chas Shalom never Judaism is the truth but the way to keep Judaism is with a pure and holy heart and if you don't have a heart so you're not you're not a Jew you're not really Jewish you're not really knower you're not really making no change you're not really getting nowhere it doesn't really happen you just you live in a ghetto you're religious okay great it doesn't make you spiritual it doesn't make you sensitive it doesn't and after those years of being so religious the fact that I decided to work on myself and to get even deeper into the aspect of finding the truth the real truth doing that after those years of being so observant brought me to a very very high level brought me to a very deep understanding that today I know things about myself that it won't be polite or honorable maybe to to expose everything to say everything about myself like the, the verse is saying ya lel khazar velo picha other people should praise you and you don't need to praise yourself so every one of my friends, my students 
every one of you, you know exactly where I touch your heart and how deep is uh, is uh, how strong is the power that Hashem gave me to reach to such deep places in your heart and you know that so I don't need to talk about it and also you can read the comments on the YouTube and on the Facebook and you can understand more and more about this person that is talking to you from the inner most inner rooms of his heart words from the heart so it's kind of amazing to realize and to see the benefit and how great and important it is to search for the real truth and to make a big change in your life and all of the time Hashem is waking me up to talk and to think and to see things that will explain and will open the path for the real redemption of our nation and of the wide world now the redemption is something that I, I really want to talk about and I have a lot to say and I can explain to you a lot about it but I don't think that today is the right day for that but we will finish this walk with Hashem with putting our finger on that point of really to choose to look for Hashem really and to be honest with yourself to search for the truth and not to search for solutions and and plasters to, to plaster and cover your problems they will never gonna disappear your problems will not gonna be erased unless you're going to do tshuva, unless you're going to come back to Hashem, unless you're going to come back to yourself, to your true self, unless you will be honest about your situation and talk really from the bottom of your heart with the Creator about whatever you go through in life and going to share and going to let Him know exactly what you think and what you feel and what you want and, and what you need and when you're gonna make from all of your emotions and from all of your thoughts you're gonna make prayers out of them real long deep conversations that will bring you to a deep understanding that you are dependent in the Creator that the Creator He is the Father of Mercy He is the one that protects you He is the one that leads you He is the one that supervises on your life he is the one that runs all the systems that you are aware of and the hidden ones that you cannot recognize. Only the prayer will bring you simple prayer, conversation with the Creator like you talk to your best friend. Only prayer will bring you to that deep understanding and then when you have that understanding you will reach the heights. You will reach the levels of our ancestors. You will reach the level of the righteous ones, of the chosen ones, of of the leaders of our nation, the real ones, not the fake ones. So many fake people, so many liars, so many people that are pretending to be something that they're not. Because that they are religious, because that they have a tradition, because that they have money, because that they are wise, I don't know what. Bottom line, they're liars and the Creator cannot stand liars and He doesn't let them be close to Him so why to follow liars? so how are you gonna know who is a liar and who is not? you need to ask Hashem Hashem what the truth is what really is the truth? who really is a righteous man that I should follow? who really is a person that I can follow? who really is 
a holy and worthy man enough that I will take advice from him. And I bless you from the bottom of my heart that Hashem will answer all of your prayers and will give you the power to define and to recognize the truth and the light from the darkness and the, and the clouds that are out there. Set your mind and your inner eyes to your own heart, to your feelings and to your emotions, to your senses to all of the talents, the abilities, all of the wisdom, the sensitivity that planted and installed inside your heart that the Creator made you to be a very wise and sophisticated creation. Very powerful, very great. Look at who that you are and use the gifts that God gave you and become the ones that you're supposed to be. May Hashem bless us all to be always together and strong and happy and share. Please share. The secret of our project is that you will share this content with all of your beloved ones and that they will all wake up. More to come. Thank you so much. Good night. In this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.